Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different 12 YouTube channel. I hope you all out there are having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, manifest, plan, and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you guys are surely coming to you all. And if this is your first, second, or third time to my YouTube channel, happy to have you guys. Welcome. And before you leave, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So when I drop content, you guys come into Different World and you come and learn about your girl. And speaking of coming and learning, I'm an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of my own small business, Third Eye Entertainment, LLC. We're a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, entertain, and what else we did? Education all at once. <laughs> you guys gotta forgive me. Uh, it's Easter Sunday, you guys. Happy Easter Sunday. Christ has risen, or it was the day uh, that uh, he has risen from the dead. Uh, those who know the story of Easter, uh, Christ was crucified on a Friday, and on the third day he rose and then he ruled away that stone and walked out the grave and showed that, you know, hell or excuse me, death couldn't hold him. And, and he died for all of our sins uh, so that we can live. And so, um, when it comes to Easter Sunday, like I'm not a church born person, so it's not like I went to church this morning, but I did wake up with prayer in my heart and, you know, being grateful to God, as well as just praying and meditating on, you know, what Easter Sunday means to me or what, you know, Christ dying for my sins mean for me, man. And I'm, I'm so grateful. Although I'm not a perfect person, you know, I'm still a heathen at times. I can do heathen things, if you will. But I know, you know, who I am and who I belong to, and that's the man upstairs. And so any time, you know, that I'm feeling down and out, he is that person that I call on in my time of need. And so um, all praises, all honor and glory, it goes to God and the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, for, you know, coming to this earth and dying for my sins and uh, for those as well, others as well out there. And I know some of you guys that may not believe in, you know, the story, but, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. So, hey, to each his own. I'm not here trying to knock your, your hustle. You just don't come over here trying to knock mine. <laughs> it is what it is over here. Um, but you guys know how I like to do my vlogs. I don't like to be the only one chit-chatting. And so, uh, rather than explaining the story of Easter, I found a dope uh, little uh, video. It's like the stories of the Bible for kids. And so, I thought it was a little uh, rudimentary. But it explains it perfectly, you know, the story of Easter. How it all started, you know, from God praying, uh, guarding, uh, guessing that. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but he will say it in the video. Uh, on to when, you know, he was hung on the cross and um, when he rose the third day from the grave. And so, without further ado, you guys, check out my, my uh, video, video that I found. Uh, it's from Stories of the Bible and it's, uh, the story of Easter. And so, once we check this out, we'll come back on, talk a little bit more what's going on in different world, yeah? Here it is. You have most probably heard the story about Jesus when he died on the cross, but have you ever wondered why? What was the reason that he died and then rose again? It does sound very strange really, but it all happened for a very good reason. The story goes like this. Jesus and his disciples were traveling to Jerusalem to celebrate Easter. On their way there, Jesus told them that he was going to die and rise again. He knew this had to happen because it was very important for us as people. What happened after this was that Jesus and some of his disciples went one evening to a garden that was called Gethsemane. Jesus knew that this was right before he was about to be captured. It wasn't very easy for him. That's why he really needed to pray to God for a mighty strength to be able to handle what was going to happen. Jesus didn't pray to God to ask not to die. He trusted God and allowed him to decide. And he knew that now was the time that he was going to do something that would save mankind. While they were in the garden, Judas and a group of angry people suddenly arrived. The angry group of people took Jesus with them and placed him in front of a judge. They started to say things about Jesus that were not true. They were actually really jealous of Jesus. They were jealous that so many people wanted to listen to what he said and spoke about. They were so angry that some of them started to hit and beat Jesus. 
In the end, the people decided that Jesus was to be executed. He had to die. So the soldiers took Jesus away to crucify him. But firstly, they really bullied and mocked him. They made him wear a red cloak and a crown of thorns. They then forced Jesus to carry his own cross to the place where he was going to be crucified. So, Jesus died upon the cross. The skies went dark and a storm broke over the town. And now we have come to what this whole story is really about. Why did this actually happen? The fact that Jesus died on the cross actually has a very important meaning for you and me. Because Jesus was totally innocent. He had never, ever done anything wrong. So according to the law of God, he actually wasn't supposed to die. Because it's those who sin who have to die. When Jesus died, it was for our sakes. He wanted to make it possible for us to have eternal life. We were actually lost each one of us because of the sins we commit. But when Jesus died, he paid for all of those sins. He offered himself, not only for those people that he knew or lived at that time. No, he offered himself for everyone who's ever lived. He thought about you and me when he gave up his own life. This shows us how much Jesus really loves us. We can receive forgiveness for our sins when we are sorry for the bad things we have done and ask for forgiveness. The story doesn't end there. After Jesus died on the cross, something fantastic happened. Three days after he died, Mary Magdalene went to his grave. She saw that the grave was open and inside sat two angels. But Jesus was not there. Mary began to cry. She thought someone must have taken Jesus away from the grave. The angels asked her why she was crying. They have taken my Lord away, and I don't know where they have put him, she said. She turned around and saw a man who was standing there. She couldn't see who it was and thought it was a gardener that worked in the garden there. If you are the person who has taken him, tell me where you have put him, so I can take him with me, she continued. Mary, said the man. Mary turned around again and looked at him. Then she suddenly realized that this man was actually Jesus. Jesus asked her to go to the disciples and tell them that soon he would go up to heaven. There was something very important he had to tell the disciples. Mary went and said to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she explained what he had told her. Later in the evening, whilst the disciples sat and ate, Jesus appeared to them. The disciples were extremely happy to see Jesus again. He was, after all, their very best friend. Some of the disciples could hardly believe that it was true. Was it possible that Jesus was alive again? Yes, it was. Jesus spent the following days explaining and teaching the disciples about how they should live their lives and how they should spread the gospel like Jesus had taught them to everyone in the world. The disciples received a task from Jesus, for he would soon be leaving the world and going back to God. As Jesus said his farewell to them, he began to float up into the sky. Higher and higher he went. The disciples looked up at him, and then he was gone. Jesus was back in heaven. Now, everything that Jesus had told them could happen. Now we, as people, have a whole new hope. Jesus will always be with us, and he is up in heaven and is preparing it so that all of us that follow him will come there. We can now have eternal life because we believe in him.
All right, everybody, welcome back. Happy to have you guys back here uh, watching Tune In with the Girl. I hope you guys enjoy looking at that video, uh, The Story of Easter, and that was by Books of the Bible for Kids. And so be sure to check them out uh, for those that are out there, you know, trying to explain, you know, Christ to their kids. There are great resources. You know, for those who are still, you know, even in their adulthood trying to learn about Christ and don't understand, you know, the Bible itself sometimes. You know, kitty stories can help you understand a little bit better. And so definitely check them out and show them some love. And of course, don't forget liking, sharing, comment, and subscribing to my YouTube channel, you guys. I definitely appreciate it. So after you come from my YouTube channel, go check them out. Um, and what else, you guys? Yeah, so as you guys seen, it uh, broke down, you know, from beginning to the end, how Easter started, why we celebrated, and, um, and things like that. Um, I guess in my personal opinion, I don't know if Christ actually died in April. You know, I don't think they had a sense of time back in that day. I think it was after Christ uh, that time was emitted into society. And so, um, as far as it being the actual time and uh, around that Christ was crucified, I don't know. That's just like saying, you know, Christ's birthday is actually December 25th. Some people say it was in January. And that may be true. I do. But I, one thing I do know that there was a day that he was, you know, crucified on the cross and the day that he rose. And so whether it was in April, November, October, whatever the case may be, there was a day when he once walked this earth and he was crucified. And so um, whether we celebrate in April or not, I'm still going to celebrate, you know, the death and the risen of Christ. Um, because he died for my sins and as a, a person who believes in Christ is on us to you know truly truly believe that he has come to the, he did come to the earth and he died for our sins and, uh, whether we argue what day that he fought on it doesn't matter it's just knowing that he, he did it and one once upon a time in history it happened and so if you guys you know want to share your comments on you know the subject of Easter how it got started whether if it's actually in April or November uh, be sure to show me uh, by liking, sharing, comment, and definitely, guys, don't forget, hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. Please keep it coming. Uh, what else we got going on in Difference World? Uh, let's move on with the Difference World Gravy Train. Uh, let's see. Be sure, go to my website and check out uh, differenceworld.net for all my other social media handles, my Instagram, my Twitter, my TikTok. You guys can find me on there as well as if you would like for me to be a part of any motivation speaking events, uh, podcast interviews, grassroots conversations. I'm free of charge as of now. All you guys will need to do is go to my website, differenceworld.net, and you book your girl there, yeah? Lastly, don't forget, you guys, my book, What If? A Controversial Paradigm Shift, is available as well on my website, differenceworld.net. You would just need to go there and get your copy. Again, it's a book that's written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations, you guys. So please be advised. It's intended for a mature audience. It has sensitive content. And so if you can't take this type of heat, still get your fire blanket and come on to the kitchen. That's the point of it all is to have these conversations that needs to be had. Bring it to the light. Push the envelope for systemic change. And so go to my website, differenceworld.net, and get your copy of my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, you guys. All right. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support uh, with the book. Please keep it coming. I, I don't care if it's one or two reviews here or there. Every little review helps, and I appreciate it. And so please keep it coming. Uh, what else we got going on in the Difference World? Tomorrow is Monday, so we're starting off another week in April with Monday. Uh, you know, on Mondays we drop our motivational content. And so, again, be on the lookout for that. That's why you guys got to hit that notification bell. <laughs> so when I drop these content, you guys come into Difference World and you come and learn uh, what it is that's going on. Uh, what else we got, you guys? Let's move it on real quickly. I'm, I know I'm moving fast, but that's just how life goes sometimes. <laughs> Time waits for no man. But um, lastly, let's go ahead and do our mental health check. For those out there that may need it, um, including myself, anybody that's going through any type of mental anguish, stress, or illness, please know that it is okay to not be okay, but don't ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help. Go talk with somebody, a therapist, a family member, a friend, a pastor, uh, picking up a hobby, mending broken bridges, cutting people off with me, you know, well, even getting on, you know, medication if that's the case for you. Do it. Do whatever it is that you have to do to keep yourself from going off the, the deep end and taking anybody with you. 
if you need or if you know anybody who may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can call or text 988 or you can text 741-741. And for those that would prefer, you guys can check out mentalhealthishelp.us or you can check out 988lifeline.org or for those that are outside of the U.S. and that's watching your girl's YouTube channel, you guys can check out incounseling.com spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G. And again, remember you guys, although I am giving you these mental health resources, it is on you to do your own homework and your own research and find what works best for you. At the end of the day, you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters. Just remember that whatever trial and tribulation that you are going through at this time of your life, this too shall pass and you will get through it. So going off the deep end is not an option. It's not worth it. So please don't do it. Okay. So, with that being said, you guys, moving right along uh, and close out of this vlog. Again, I hope you guys enjoy listening and watching uh, <clears throat> the story of Easter and how it got started. And those that are, you know, interested in learning more about Christ, I encourage you guys to get involved with the church community. And, uh, uh, hey, do your own research, your own homework. Sometimes, you know, the church might not work for you, but you can still... You know, do your own homework and research about Christ and find what works with you when it comes to your walk with Christ. Um, as well as you guys, uh, be on the lookout for all other, you know, vlogs I'll be dropping this week. It's going to be a busy week. I'm going to be dropping back to back to back. So again, that's why you guys got to hit the subscribe button and a notification bell. So when I drop the content, you guys come into different world, you guys, and you come and learn. As uh, lastly, don't forget, whatever it is in life that you're feeling you're destined for, it, you got to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And then it will surely come to you guys. Different world. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author different. Go to differenceworld.net.